Hello. So for this video, we're going to go ahead and make a one stick fire. Now the concept for the one stick fire is to get a small log such as this one and just break it down with your knife. Most of the time your knife. You could use your axe, but I'm going to use my knife for this. And just break it down and just break that down and just process it all the way where it's small kindling so you can make a fire out of this. We're just going to use one log and break it down to make fire because you really got to watch you know, your resources. You can't just be wasteful. So I'm going to use my knife and process this down. I'm just going to chop this down and then down over and over. Now I'm going to baton with this knife. I'm going to use another stick, this one right here, and I'm going to just whack it on the back of the blade until it goes all the way through. Now batoning is a bit of a contro controversial topic amongst uh, bushcrafters. Some people, they don't approve of it and they find it very stupid and it's abuse for a knife. Um, you know, they, they prefer a knife. I'm sorry, an axe. <laughs> but the, I would say that it's good because what if you don't have an axe? I personally don't carry an axe because I live in the desert. It's just too large, too cumbersome. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay. I'm going to place my blade over this. Then I'm going to get my baton. And I'm going to whack down. Now, also, before we get started, use common sense when you, when you are going to use a chunk when you're choosing a chunk of log make sure that your blade has enough room on the other side like here for example where you're going to whack at you don't want something that's too large because your your knife's just going to get stuck in there so just make sure that probably about an ideal width would be about that much about half the length of the blade this is a little slightly bigger so we're, we could just go around it and just process it down. So here we go. one piece. Life seems all right. Okay, let's break down another piece. Two hours later. All right, so now these are some decent mid-sized pieces, but this is still not enough. You still need to process it down. And I want to break down the more manageable pieces, the ones that seem easier so you're not putting as much stress on your blade. Now for the feather sticks. Now we're gonna thinly shave some pieces really thin almost like ribbons and what this is the this is what's gonna catch the spark for the fire this is what starts it all and then from there we add the larger pieces catch that now mine are far from being beautiful feather sticks look at other people like Dave Canterbury or William Myers from Mantis Outdoors, and his feather sticks are far more better than this. I'll admit, mine are hideous. But since I live in the desert, this isn't something I have to do as often as they do because I have a lot more dead grasses available to me, so I have other things that can take a spark. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna make about two, um, say about four of these. So I wanna make a good little bed of feather sticks. Okay, I'd say this is about decent. Okay, so bring it in closer. Okay, I'm going to put these close to each other and then all these that fell off as well. 
these little, little thin curls are what's going to catch the spark. Okay, and then once it catches, we're going to start from small, thin kindling, like this, that can easily be overpowered by the flame. And then we're little by little going to place larger pieces. Okay, now the one stick, the one stick fire, I think it's a really good test for your, your for your knife as well. It could do, you know, can it take some abuse? Can it chop down a quite a big log? You know, where, where you should be using an axe, can your knife do it? So that, you know, that's a really good test for your knife. And then it shows the fine carving still skills. Can it still carve very fine feather sticks? And then the last test for it is, is the spine worthy of, you know, is it a really good spine to, to make some sparks from the ferro rod? So it's a good, good test for your knife. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Thought I didn't have it there. I was about to strike it again. Okay, so notice that these curls are what's gonna catch the flame. There you go. Once you got that going, you can start placing small sticks. You don't want to place a whole entire log on here. That's not going to work. That's not realistic. You want to start very little to very large. Now, we don't have accelerants when we're out in the woods. We're not using lighter fluid, things like that. So we really want to just learn how to work with your environment. And, you know, physics. This will catch these little thin pieces. You want to cradle it. You know, just nurture it. Let it little by little start getting larger. And then we can start placing the larger pieces. Okay, so as you can tell, it's already starting to spread out. The flames are really starting to spread out. So now we can go ahead, if need be, start using this, these larger ones. And you see this is all still from the same log. And these I didn't even have to process too. They, I didn't have to process them as small. So these large ones, you know, they can eventually start using these as well. You can keep processing them down if you want to. I think it's fine. I think it'll start taking off, especially because I still have thin ones on this side. Okay, now, uh, let's see. Let's see our knife. Bring it in closer, Joel. So let's take a look at my knife. Now this is my LT Right GNS knife. I love this knife. This is definitely not a beginner's knife. Quite expensive, but it is worth it. There's no damage on the blade, as you can tell, and it definitely took some damage. Let's see if it's still shaving sharp. See that? That there's a knife. So, for future references, for future reference, from now on, whenever I do make a review on knives, because I definitely want to start getting into reviewing knives, just to show people, you know, good beginner knives and things like that. Well, one of the tests is going to be a one stick fire. Can your knife make that? Because in an emergency situation, or, you know, you just, once again, you, you need to learn that the less is more, you know, be resourceful with your environment. So, this isn't a you know, a keg party out in the desert. This is, you know, you really want to work with your resources and learn how to make the most out of what you've got. So, there you go. I hope you guys learned something from this and I'll see you in the next video.